to this now just in time for Christmas tonight's act of kindness stories about a life changing gift that doesn't cost a thing. Reporter Lucy May shares the story of a Roger Bacon grad who stepped up to help a little boy in need. You are probably as sick of these video calls as I am, but this story shows you don't have to meet someone in person to change their life. And we are here today because Mads received a bone marrow transplant. Kaylin Speed didn't even know this Illinois boy when she made a decision that changed his life. I stopped there on my like 10 minute break, did a quick swab and went on about my day. That quick cheek swab was to help DKMS, a nonprofit working to eliminate blood cancers. They're like, it's only like a 1% chance. I'm like, I don't even know like, really like what's going on or like what this is for. But like, I know this is important. So like, whatever, I'll just, I'll try it. It's a chance to help somebody. Within days, Kaylin got the news. She was a match. And then I found out that it was a little boy. And then I found out like how I was going to do it. The COVID-19 pandemic slowed things down. But within months, the Roger Bacon High School graduate made her life-changing donation. It was pretty easy. It only took me like a day to recover. I went home, took a nap, got up, ate, felt great. It was back to my normal life the next day. Her big payoff came later when she and her family got to meet Mads and his family over a video call. First off, thank you so much. You, like, owe you everything. <laughs> of course. It's so amazing that you did this at such a young age and you're so amazing. I hope. <laughs> I hope you know how amazing you are. You're sitting there and you're just like, oh my God, this poor baby went through so much and that family went through so much. I would do it a hundred times over if I could. Kaylin says DKMS has made it even easier to help with a free swab test the nonprofit will send right to your house. You can find out how to get one right now in my story on WCPO.com. In Covington, Lucy May, WCPO 9 News.